What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be showing you some footage from a game I had today that was just a butt ton of fun. And uh, I'm using a thousand yard stare. I know you guys are like, what? Yeah, I just got this one uh, this past week from an engram. And um, I figured, hey, what the heck, I'll give it a shot just to see how I like it. I do feel like it's a little clunky. I don't think it'll be my go-to sniper. But um, I did have some fun with it just trying it out. And uh, here's what came of it. So this um, gameplay is going to have some jukes, and it's going to have uh, some nice snipes. So at this point, we just uh, lost the relic, and one of their guys self reses gets a double kill in his radiance, and uh, now I'm basically in this corner of the map alone. So I'm trying to think, how do I want to play this? I see that the special is almost up, so I kind of want to hold down this position. Now they were in this room off to my left. Uh, now you can see clearly in the freeze frame there's nothing on the radar, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the room is clear. So understanding that, I want to get a read on the room without making myself vulnerable. So what I'm actually going to do is slide and shade step uh, through this opening, just in case someone's hard scoping it. Turns out to be the right call. Now as you can clearly see, there's a guy who's hard scoping the doorway, and there's another guy that's going off to the left, presum uh, presumably towards that special box. So the shade step turns out to be the right call so that I don't just get sniped as I check the room. So I come back to head off this guy, I grab the special box right from underneath him, and then and I'm making my escape. I round the corner, I take one bullet, I can see the, from the radar that he's on the same level as me. So I'm basically glued to that radar. I change elevations and then I turn to challenge and try to drop down and get a nice snipe on the guy. I choke on the snipe, so again it's time to back off because I'm absolute. So at this point I can see that there's at least two guys on me, one above and one on the same tier. So I'm just going to hug this left wall just so I don't expose myself. Come around to this other special box and I'm thinking, hey, I'm just going to get this special too. Guy rounds the corner. Now at this point I'm honestly just having fun. I'm like, I'm going to juke this guy too. So I grab the special and now I'm going to make a break through open area. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slide and shade step to the next place of cover, jump through the next open area because I'm trying to mix up my uh, my movements. And uh, just like that, I'm back into a place where I can turn around and challenge at a bottleneck. So I do that as the guy pushes, but I choke on the snipe yet again and shade step away. Now at this point, I'm just trying to recover my health. I see this guy up in front of me, I'm like, oh crap. So I'm gonna pop off a couple of shots here in hopes I land him. I don't because he's got me flinching. So I shade step into cover. Now I'm, I'm kind of tucked away in here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to wait until his uh, dot in my radar is right on top of me. That's when I'm going to make my move because it's going to be much harder for him to adjust accordingly and to see where I went. So as soon as the, the blip is right on top of me, that's when I shade step around the corner and make a break for cover. And just like that, I get another special ammo box. And just because I was uh, very evasive, I was able to get three boxes of special and get mid-map control in the process. So now that I've got all the jukes out of my system, now it's time to put some points on the board. So I'm going to start making some more challenges and evading less. I get a body shot here, use my cover, shade step out of it, finish the guy off as he approaches because he thinks I'm running for cover. So that's a good way to bait people in is, is bolt for cover and then either slide, jump, or shade step back out of cover once they expose themselves as they, they try to push you. So I push out into the middle map at this point. I get two rounds left in the mag. I make both of them count. And so there's four quick kills in succession. Pop the box of special. It's like it never happened. And I know people are probably like, True, why are you showing us body shots where you switched your primary afterwards? It's, it's so lame. You, you have no skill sniping. Um, you know, if you ever watch tournaments and sweats, uh, these guys, they they get body shots and they call it out they say he's bodied he's one shot it's just part of it's part of playing the game you get body shots even the best snipers in the world get body shots the only the only difference is that i'm going to put them on youtube because honestly that's how these games play out i'm not going to be the guy that's only going to show you my montage worthy headshots sure i get those and you guys have seen those plays but at the same time this is how the majority of your kills are going to play out sometimes you're going to get body shots you get a lot of body shots in a match even if you're the best sniper in the game but the question is, can you clean up your kills? Can you put points on the board? Because that's really what matters. So you guys know I'm all about practicality, and that's what I'm going to show you. So here's how the, the match wraps up. We're pushing this relic, and I really want to capture this relic, because I know that if they capture it, they've got a decent chance of winning uh, and coming from behind. So I go ahead and decide it's worth the super to clear the guy off. And then as I start to uh, <laughs> deploy the pro, I see red on the radar, and I go for the montage where the jump snipe 
I managed to get this uh, this sweet jumping headshot. My second one of the day. Mm, feels so good. And then I move up on uh, the orb. I bang down the revive. And then I push out and just go for the, the hip fire melee. And melee hits. And we win the game. So that's the match. I know I had fun. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the gameplay and the evasive maneuvers. And hopefully you picked up some tips on how to get out of sticky situations for when you're playing in the Crucible. And guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the Crucible.